Good midday, sir. Good midday. It's not yeah. morning. We spent our whole morning cleaning up this fixed out of a shop. That's what happens when I ain't around. <laughs> well, I think half of the uh, mess is in here were yours and the other half are mine. No, I'd say about a quarter was our mess. The other three quarter was your mess. <laughs> it's I don't mow grass here. <laughs> I don't weld or machine. <laughs> right, we're way off track. Yeah. All right. We on. are in between jobs and yeah. uh, expecting a little bit of rain this afternoon. So we well, got uh, sunshine. Now. Yeah. Uh, we got a little issue with the Mac. Every time I drive this thing, I keep getting hit in the head. Yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Let's explain. All right. All right, man, behind the scenes, we're gonna demonstrate our issue. So uh, as we drive down the road, this thing here flops around and smacks the top of the cab, which ain't good. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it has something to do with this crack. It's just a No. Do you think that crack got there has something to do with that up there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, very well could be. Hey, if it's not on camera, it didn't happen. <laughs> All right, what are you thinking first things first? You think we need to try to beat that back over straight? Yeah. You think we can just put a gusset on that? And... Yeah, yeah, I think so. Is it gonna be a quick and easy one? That's gonna be quick and easy. You're, you almost can't see over the side of that bed, can you? No, I'll have to get my stool in here. <laughs> Shake that one more time. Oh. This, I'm, this ain't, it ain't, we'll have to fix that crack here too, right. but, uh, this side still ain't moving, so we just got to get that welded back up, and then I'll put a patch on that. All right, here's the next problem. I don't know if our welder leads will reach this high. We, uh, we stick weld this? Yeah, we can stick weld it. It's either uh, stick weld it, or uh, you put the welder in the man lift. Oh. We still gotta get it in here. All right, well, let's figure that out. What do you, you want to do first? You want a sledgehammer? Yep. Look at where your face is. Oh, no. You look at this. I'm left-handed, swinging right-handed. I don't like anything about this. <laughs> we'll still over here. So, we'll, we'll, we'll be protected by the uh, tarp roller here. All right, you ready? Yeah, well, hold on. All right. a little bit. Like you're moving this one's moving. That one's moving? Yeah. You'll make it out here and swing out since I'm right handed? They have to. Alright, I'm ready. Got the one I started getting for oh. you. This one might be a little more interesting. Yeah. Oh, hey, that happened to me too. <laughs> I'm hitting the other one. Yep. All right. Did you remember a C clamp? You didn't put that on the list. Oh, I didn't. Uh, well, we'll regroup here, here in a minute. Why don't you stand up here and hold that down? Let me get a hit or two on it. Oh, man. You ready? Yep. Big bounce. Oh, uh, try not to. Do I need to step out farther? It's uh, I almost want to push up. It's sucked down right here just a little bit. Okay. It's almost like we need to take it away from cut that off there a little bit. All right. You ready to see if your welder will fly? I'm ready to see if it'll fly, yeah. <laughs> we were gonna use the stick machine then we realized we had lifting eyes on this one. I can't believe we'd ever used those before. I know it. <laughs> hey, pretty well balanced too. Up, up, and away. 
Alright. Oh, we just gotta hope we got enough height. I think we will. I think worst case scenario, we may just have to take it around the other side of the truck and get that other side, but that'll get this side for sure. What's your plan here, Mastermind? Oh, I'm gonna step out there. Okay. So we need to let them know what we did to get this so it's level and true, matches both, or matches past your side. So right now this corner is up higher Way than high. that corner. Yeah. So I'm gonna step on that, and right when that breaks over and just starts overlapping, it's where you said it was good. Okay, so you want me to so, C-clamp out right there when you do that? C-clamp back, yeah. And then you want me to double check it? And then we'll double check it. All right. Is it too low now? It's not too low. If anything, it's maybe just a tick too high, but it's not bad. A tick too high yet? Yeah. I never have to tick too high anyways because it's really close to those uh, air horns. Yeah. So leave it where it's at then. Yeah, I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna be off, it's gonna be a half inch too high, which I think is better than being a half inch too low. All right. I think it's close enough. You want me to uh, turn on your suspended welder here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tag it. All right, ready? Eyeballs. Waiting on you. I'm waiting on the ground, bud. All right, it's right in front of your face. Well, you ain't getting a very good ground. <laughs> I, I attach, you connect. Hey, right, between the two of us, which one of us has a grinder handy? You do, that's why I said, ground. Oh, I do, don't I? I thought you had them inside. You like it? I like it. Don't touch that end, it's hot. Thank you for the update there. Maybe what we do is, is we got a big crack. Oh man. You just welded the C-clamp, didn't you? I did. I did. I <laughs> definitely did. <laughs> now what we got there. there. You know, the other thing is, Aaron, we can always hook the crane on to it. We got a big crack over there. Yeah. And raise that side up to match this side. Yeah. All right. Am I going down? That's all the, that's all the stroke I got. Okay. Nothing. Get a bigger C-clamp. So while you're welding that off, you want to give me a shape of a guess that I need to make for strengthening that up a little bit? Take this off here. Yeah, take that off. Say we cut it. Look at this. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It. Right there. Fingernail trace. See it? Oh, you can. So that's what we got to cut. See it right there? Yep. All right. So cut that, clean it up. And you'll guess at that on there? Yep. Right. Should be good to go.
just what you always wanted. That's right. I don't remember. I don't Love remember it. which way I went, so I cleaned up both sides. That's good. I like that. So I'll let you figure out which way it goes, and I'll hold it there. Just like that. Yeah. Now, let me give you a little hint. What's that? This is a big piece of metal. You do not have to tack it next to my thumb. Oh, that <laughs> hit, huh? Are you flush at the top? No, I can be right there. Yeah, like that. I like that better. That that looks better because I want to be able to tie everything in right there. All right, go. All right, eyeballs. Get your hey, guys. quick! Keep it up there where it goes. Don't worry about where I tag it. <laughs> yeah, funny guy. Uh, How'd that work out for you? Yeah, almost bad. <laughs> That's what you get for being smarty pants. <laughs> All right. Now you're not up. Well, that's because you keep trying to poke my finger. Right I know there. this game I you like play. <laughs> I'll tag it right here then. I can't okay. see over there, but I'm assuming it looks all Everything right. Everything looks good. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a gap right well, there, but it ain't I, bad. We can see clamp that. That's right. why I want to make sure everything else is tight. All right, weld her up. All right, eyeballs. All right, well, Aaron's welding out that side. We need to make a gusset to go right there on the other side. Somebody's already gusseted where we gusseted it, but it's cracked out down below. This side's not cracked out there, is it? Huh? Down below? No. It's no, all nothing's good. cracked out there. But... All right, so I just need to make you like a four by four square over there, right? Yeah. All right, well, while you're welding that out, I'm going to go do that. All right, Aaron has got this side all welded out. Welds look good. It ain't nothing pretty, but it all did, yeah. did the trick. What do you think? Two little spots. I'm gonna let them cool a little bit over there on that one. All right, so show them what we got on this side. Oh, we got, uh, it's talking to it. It's got a little yeah, crack it there. Is. Smiling, I think. All right. So you thinking? I'm thinking like that. Right like that right there. I don't think, I mean, the farther out you go, that's where the most stress is at on it, right? Yep. I'm tacking it and I'm holding it, so I will tack away from my finger. <laughs> yeah, I see how you are. I don't know what big deal is. That ain't that bad. Hey, did you, did you check and see if that's level out front? Yeah. Uh, you you were supposed to do that. I did. Oh, okay. It we're looks good. pretty good. All right. It's within a it's within a half inch, and that's pretty good for this old rickety bed. So everything All we're right. doing now is kind of a temporary patch as you guys can tell this bed is not in the greatest shape i'm hoping to get a year or two out of it if the truck keeps doing good we'll throw a throw a whole new bed on it but it's still got a little bit of life left in it we're going to use all we can so all right well aaron finished getting that welded out we'll throw a little paint on it i think we'll have this thing fixed up you know the whole trick to holding this together is going to be the paint job right yeah i hope the paint holds Put it on the deck. It'll make that weld look slick. <laughs> it, uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is. It is definitely stiff. Oh, yeah. Put that paint on thick and welds look good. Yeah, because them dirt claws that are going to see those, see those welds are going to be extremely impressed with your abilities. Yeah. At least now when we're driving down the road, it won't go be in pow, 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 pow. Yeah. It's like somebody's shooting at me up there. Oh, yeah, that's nice. In fact, they were robot welds now. <laughs> Looks so good. So you're saying you're almost as good as a robot, the robot's not as good as you? I put paint on it, I'm just as good as the robot. Now. Robots, they have too much porosity. 
lack of fusion, everything else. All, I know all my stuff's good. No frosty, no pinholes, lack of fusion, none of that. Oh, this is a very crucial weld here. It is, that's right. All right, now we got this truck done. We need to get to town and get a battery. Yeah. The, uh, the 120s, it's running on 12 to 24 volts. <laughs> we, we just won't blame that on Chris. We'll yeah, everything's on Chris. Everything on Chris. It is kind of Chris's fault. He left the key on. <laughs> but the battery is five years old, so. Yeah. All right, we're going to roll this out. Go to town, grab some lunch, grab a battery. And uh, on to the next little project. we got to get a battery in the 120. Yeah. we got to get a joystick on the 304. Hey, I'll tell you what. How about we take tools with us this time? Oh, we didn't have tools last time, did we? I forgot. I had chainsaw wrench. <laughs> I mean, you can't get... Andrew could have got the battery out of the chainsaw. We did have one wrench set, but the wrench we needed was missing. Actually, we had the complete set except for the one we needed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. See you guys in a minute. We have behind the scenes. The rain has found us. Put my turtle out there. Five drops inside the turtle shell. We don't work. You, uh... You might get wet putting your battery in. <laughs> uh, I do pretty good coaching from the truck. <laughs> so I don't know if you noticed, but it's raining here too. Yeah, it is. You man, uh, you man up, get that up in there. All right, positive on the left, right? Right. Uh, wrong. Right. Yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> Why? It's that? 24 volt. It's raining harder, faster, faster. I'm short. There you go. All right. All right. Now you better let me wire this up. I've seen you wire before. Oh, you don't want me wire that up. There's going to be a lightning show going on. <laughs> rain won't be your problem, man. <laughs> yeah. Look at it. Can you see it raining? I can see it raining. Above enough. You know, we got uh, this like perfectly dry garage, and here we are yeah, out yeah. in this. Why didn't we do this this morning? Then right. they got here, the we're going to do this. The I can't, I can't snap left-handed. I got to switch. It is the magic way. I'm going to do it. <laughs> you're still my magic. It's all back together. Do you think it's going to start? Oh, I hope. Come on, baby. She hardly ever lets us down. We realize this is all Farmer Chris's fault, right? Yes. Yeah. We, Farmer we Chris. No key. Farmer Chris left the key on. The battery went dead. And one battery did not want to recharge. And look, now the sun's coming out. Now we got the... Yeah. All right, here we go. She's ready for work. Yep. All right. Ready. Let's get out of here. We got one more thing to do. Mm -hmm. Got some work to do on the old 304. If we got parts. If we got parts. Yeah. But it's, it's in the dry, so yeah. it can keep raining. Now. It's tomorrow. You guys can't see what we're getting into, but it's a mess. We're just going to leave it at that. It's a mess. Yeah. A big mess. The old uh, 120 is going to have its work out for All right. On the next one. Land behind the scenes. A couple things. A couple things, yeah. One, the rain has followed us to Derby. But it's heading out. It's Two, out. let's have a discussion of why I don't own any more caterpillar equipment than what I do. Mm -hmm. Buy cat! It's the best stuff ever made. Buy cat! Buy cat! <laughs> cat. Alright, here's my thoughts. So this little bitty stinking switch right here has gone bad which angles the blade out there all right and what is happening is it has failed so it's always up against the relief it's always trying to go one way and it can't go no farther well thanks to caterpillar you cannot buy just that little bitty switch you gotta buy the whole joystick seven hundred dollars did you hear that seven hundred dollars cat so i uh, did some research found a buddy in California, he had one for $500, which is better than $700. Yeah. But now, instead of having a normal plug out here where you can get to this thing to unplug it, oh no, you gotta take the whole console apart. Yeah. And who was right about that? I should probably just turn this camera off before I keep ranting. <laughs> this is why I don't own more cat equipment. It's ridiculously expensive and super hard to work on. I'm not saying it's bad equipment, but my goodness. All right. My rant's over. I gotta fix it one way or another. Uh, number three, Phillips for starters. 
Number three Phillips. I ain't got yet. Oh, I forgot the part that if we buy Caterpillar equipment, we never have to work on it. Oh, yeah, part. yeah, it, it never breaks down. So, Ugh. all right, let's see what's behind panel number one. Let's take the whole interior part so we can get the one joystick that's external. You know what's going to end up happening, don't you? I'm going to get mad and pull on something I shouldn't here in a minute. Right. Yeah. Come on. Oh, I can see it. It's this one, right? You guys probably can't see anything. I don't know where it goes, though. <sighs> All right. Let me keep disconnecting. So, let's take off a whole panel, 11 different wiring connectors. So we can get down in here and get to this one. Like, why couldn't they just mount it right there where you could get to it without doing all that? It'd be so simple. So simple. All right, this is what we're after. Is this one right down here? This guy right here. Get him pulled up out of there and then hopefully the new one shows up. Two hours later, got it. You realize how easy that would have been if I just would have put the connector somewhere where you could actually get to it. Yeah. Wouldn't that have been nice of them? That would have been real nice. All right, now we just got to hope FedEx shows up with our new one. Which, unfortunately, in our part of the world, FedEx is not the most reliable delivery service. Come off there. There we, there we go. go. Fucking need to put yeah. that on the wall as a trophy. Yeah, no kidding. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Well, FedEx finally decided to show up yesterday afternoon. That's good. And uh, check this out. I think it is actually the right piece. That is good. And for that people who don't good. believe me, this is the negotiated discounted price of $450. <laughs> you were on the phone during the negotiations. Yeah. So. Yep. All right. I, uh, I mean, since I've started a rant, I might as well keep going. You know what I mean? So this yeah. brought back some horrible memories last night. Of the D4, yeah. which also reminded me it was the same way. We changed the joystick out on it and spent half the day just getting to yeah. the electrical connector. Yeah. I don't understand why they're like that, but there's this small little roll pin down in there that holds this piece in, the threads on there. It's pretty much impossible to get that off in the machine because you can't really beat on the yeah. stick. But anyways, anyways, the good news is this one does seem to have, whoop, oh, hang on does seem to have the right electrical connector on it so it should plug and play in there just fine so that's a plus compared to the d4 yeah well the d4 uh we went super cheapo china and that's why we had to roll yeah plug. see this one here is genuine genuine i don't know what an acronym for cat is but it needs to be something like i robbed your pocket yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyways all right uh out with the old in with the new yeah, I am not on the Caterpillar bandwagon today, if you guys can't tell. I am still super frustrated with, uh, like, seriously, if they just would have took this plug and moved it this far and put it on the yeah. other side of the plastic, it would have saved us, like, four hours. It's just absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense. And then, if they didn't have to be all fancy and try to get these super-duper, which, uh, I will admit, they do operate nice. $700? Yeah. Seriously. All right. All right. We got work to do. This thing actually needs to go actually do some work and it's in pieces and parts. So, I guess first things first, I need to uh, thread this on there. Yep. I'm pretty sure we're putting this on in the wrong order. We should have. We're gonna keep the plug out. I yeah, know, we should have put the, uh, screwed this down in there and then drilled that roll pin in, but you, it's hard to drive anything on that. Yeah, let me have that plug. Let's see, we're gonna make this work. See, a little bit easier, like this. Well, it's teamwork, buddy. Teamwork. That's right. No iron team. No, but there sure is a me. <laughs> 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 that was uncalled for. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we'll have to tighten that up later. I need that little. I don't know what we did with it. There was a grommet down in there. Remember that grommet and that we drove we out? never pulled it out. So it's uh, probably just it laying. Flying down there somewhere. 
Oh boy. I'm hoping you guys can see down here, but this is the plug. And literally, if they would have moved that plug from here to here, it would have saved two hours of work. Yeah. So simple, but yet so complicated. I don't know if I'm gonna get that back on there. That goes through there like so. Maybe. Ow! Okay. All right, I got the uh, plug secured. Got our grommet back in. That is one thing Caterpillar does do good. Is they got all that stuff grommeted so it don't wear. But I uh, guess we need to put our gauge cluster back in. Yep. And uh, see if this thing will work. Hopefully. Hopefully the radio don't decide to come on by itself again. That was kind of creepy yesterday, yeah. wasn't it? All right, I don't know. Can we even video that? I don't know if we need... I can't even get my hands in there, so I'm guessing the camera. You guys are just going to have to take my word for it, but we get all this hooked back up. So let me get this thing back on, then we'll give her a test run and see what we got. All right, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Everything better work. <laughs> if it don't work, we're just selling it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, of all the complaining I do... This is my least favorite piece of equipment to operate. It has like zero finesse, but it is ridiculously powerful. Yep. And it's honestly been very reliable. Yes, it has. So for no more hours than we put on this thing, in a year's time, it uh, it's worth keeping around. But man, stuff like that sure frustrates me. All right, let's hope I am not no longer frustrated and everything is working. We got lights and gauges. We got fire in the holes. See if all of our switches work. Yep. Lights yep. Work. That's the travel cancel. Auto idle. All right. Blade up. Here's the real question. Oh, look at that. So before, whenever you let off the button, it would keep going. Stops now. Now it stops, that's good. Sweet. Hallelujah. Well, what we'll have to do. Load it up and get it to work. Load it up and go to work, so. All right, well, I think that's gonna be a wrap on this video. It was a success. I am no longer getting hit in the head on the dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're somebody better really mad at you driving before. Wham, 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 wham. So, got that fixed. Got the 120 up and going. Got the 304. I got my annual, like once a year I go on a rant. Got my annual rant out of the way. So, right. I think we're good. All right. Hold you guys. Kaboot ain't around the I know. The kaboot is not here, so now we're under the cat. <laughs> I'm Both sorry. Rants have been a joystick. This is true. This is true. <laughs> this is true. So, uh, all right, we got stuff we actually have to do, but that's going to be a whole nother video. Yeah. So, hopefully, they enjoyed this one. If I did, tell them give a big old thumbs up and big subscribe. Up. It's free. Don't cost them a thing. Just have to hit that button. So, that way they can see what we're going to do on the next one. That's right. Don't buy. See you guys.